Number eight, solutions of hydrogen in palladium may be formed by exposing PD metal to H2 gas. The concentration of hydrogen in the palladium depends on the pressure of H2 gas applied, but in a more complex fashion than can be described by Henry's law. Under certain conditions, 0.94 grams of hydrogen gas is dissolved in 215 grams of palladium metal. And then they give us the solution density of 10.8 grams per centimeters cubed. And in this case, we have to determine the molality of the solution. So the first thing is I'm just going to give a slash through the density because it should be grams divided by the volume. But now, Let's determine the molality. And the molality is, I guess, maybe the, the sister or the brother of um, a molarity, right? So there is molarity and then there's molality. Molarity is more used, uh, generally speaking, if you're in your solutions chapter, you're only going to be dealing with molality, but everywhere else is generally molarity. But the molality formula is this. Molality, which gets that cute little lowercase italicized M. <laughs> Remember, capital M is molarity. Lowercase cute little M like that <laughs> is molality. But molality equals the moles of the solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. So now we're throwing out these S words here. But, I mean, they didn't really tell us specifically what is the solute and what is the solvent. All they told us that 0.94 grams of hydrogen gas is dissolved in the 250 grams of palladium metal. But there's an easy way of knowing what's your solute and a solvent in a problem. Keep in mind that a solute plus a solvent, when they come together, it will always form a resulting solution. So there's three S words here. And the easiest way to know which one is which is just count the letters. In solute, there are six letters. In solvent, there are seven letters. And then solution, there's eight. So always go from the little one to the bigger one. A solute, the smallest number, will get dumped into the solvent. And together, the combination of the two makes the biggest thing, the eight letters, solution. So if we read this, we have 0.94 grams of hydrogen gas was dissolved in. The solute is always dissolved in the solvent. So the 0.94 grams of hydrogen gas is dissolved in 250 grams of palladium metal. The hydrogen gas has to be the solute. And the palladium metal is the solvent. And the combination of the two of them would be the solution. So now we know that the specific moles that we have to find out is H2. And I say that it's H2 because hydrogen is one of your diatomics. And they do kind of tell you that it's H2 up top here. The solvent is the PD, palladium. So let's first go from the 0 0.94 grams of H2 to moles of H2. Now, you can do the dimensional analysis way, but I mean, we're in way more complex uh, topics here in chemistry, so you could always do the quick in ways. Whenever you're going from grams to moles, it's always through the periodic table, and you're just going to divide by your molar mass, mm. So I have to look on the periodic table for hydrogen. There's two of them. So I have to take two times, and on the my periodic table it says 1.008 uh, grams per mole for each hydrogen. So in this case, we're just going to divide by 2.016 grams per mole, if you want to just have a unit there, and that's why the grams will cancel out and you're just left with the moles. So 0.94 divided by 2.016 I get roughly about 0 0.466 moles of H2. So I know that when I'm ready to do my molality, which is this, I love that cute little M, um, which is the moles of the solute, 
I know that 0.466 is going to go on the top. Now let's find out the kilograms of the solvent. They gave us 215 grams of the solvent, which is the PD, but let's go to kilograms. Well, grams to kilograms, that's just using your SI conversions. Grams to kilograms, you divide by 1,000. Similarly, you take the decimal and you move it to the left three times. So this would just be 0 0.215 kilograms. And that's the math that you have to do to just get the number on the bottom. And that's as far as molality goes. Now we just have to divide. So point, I mean, I guess I'll take this whole number, because it's not really good to round until the end result, divided by that. And I guess two sig figs, so 2.2. If we cared about sig figs, whoop, what happened there? There we go, 2.2, and the unit for molality is the little cute m. So that's it. Now some of you might be saying, well, we didn't use the density, right? We didn't use the solution density. Not for molality, because none of these have anything to do with the solution. But if we were dealing with molarity, which is moles of solute divided by liters of solution, then we would have to use that solution uh, density. But in this case, molality, we don't care about the solution, just the solute and the solvent. And that's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for all your support and your kind comments. We love talking to you guys, and we hope you're doing well out there. Keep studying hard. Always keep learning. Always keep doing as many problems as you can, because that's how you get better at your classes. You could read, you know, a textbook any day, but come test time, it's going to be problems. You know, not really theory. So just as, as you can get as many questions under your belt before test time will make you better at, you know, doing the problems on your test. So good luck to you, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.